Hi everyone, it's Diane, and now I'm going to show you a new journal that I just created for a baby boy. This is made with a blue hardcover book. I used um, a lap robe, a homemade quilt patchwork lap robe, and I just cut two of the squares from it and, and glued them on the front. And these little um, yo-yos and this is a uh, polka dot fabric is a piece of vintage sheet and then this is just a paper that I cut from a digital a long time ago some vintage rickrack here some fabric on the spine with some buttons which I think look really cute and also on the back I just added this um, piece of scrapbook paper because it had some like dried up glue or something on the back or something. There was something on the back that I didn't like so I covered it with this pretty paper. And I left the little yarn pieces on the corners where the t quilt was tied together. Inside we have this beautiful plaid scrapbook paper. It does have three signatures by the way. And this is a piece of chenille. I love this blue chenille. And it is stitched to some blue cardstock and glued on as a pocket. Here's a little patchwork tag that I made. There's a video of me making this cover and also this tag in the same video. This image of the baby is from a vintage magazine. And then here is a growth and weight chart for the baby. I used a lot of um, vintage images and gift wrap. This one does not have a digital kit. Um, well, it does have some digital printouts, but this isn't part of my design team, so there are no um, Studio 28E images in here because I didn't get the baby boy kit. But I like this plaid fabric, and I used this little scrap that came from this. Uh, just to um, decorate the trim the edge there. This came from a baby magazine or an old magazine and this came from an old magazine too. I like this. He sleeps right where the last stretch took him. New muscles rest beneath the sweet folds and baby creases. There's, it's just really cute. And then this is a printable and I don't know where I got it. I can't remember. I'll try to find it and then link it. But there's a bunch of these pages in the book. It says the latest arrival, and then it has a place for all the information there. You just fold it up and tuck it in there. And I stamped It's a Boy up here. Some blue lace on the edge. And there it says It's a Boy. That's from a cut apart scrapbook page. Here's one of the printable pages. Each ounce of baby is worth more than a pound of gold, and it has room to write his weight each month and the rest of it's continued on the other side. Birth Story is from another printable set and I'll try to link that also. This is from Christy Art Design. There's some tumbling babies that I stamped. This says Baby Laughs and this one has the same quote that I stamped that's in the uh, Baby Girl book. Here's some paper that has elephants on it, and then this is vintage scrap uh, wrapping paper, A, B, A, B, C, and X, Y, Z, and it's got babies climbing around on the letters. This is from a vintage magazine, Nestle's Food for babies. There's stenciling and sprayed inks and things on the blank white pages. This is a stamp. First gifts, so this is a nice place to record the shower gifts that the baby receives. This was sprayed through a stencil. This says first discoveries, discovered on hand, grasped object, objects, recognized mother, recognized father, and then your remarks. But look at that beautiful baby. This is an image from an old magazine. Looks like Gibson Girl era. This is a gorgeous little teddy bear from a vintage wrapping paper, and he's got his own little sippy cup there. Baby, the sweetest blossom of all. Mind paper. There's the other side. 
<clears throat> of the magazine image with the parents looking adoringly at the baby. This is a sticker that you can write on. I glued it down though to make sure it was secure. <clears throat> baby's weight. Oh, you get to write the baby's weight a lot in here because that other page has baby's weight too. This goes at birth, three months, six months, nine months, and 12 months. Or you could just put a photo on top of that since it's repeated. Again, this is a little tuck spot with a little tiny tag. One of the little brown pockets or envelopes from my shop with three more tags tucked inside. And this little baby bunny is from the vintage gift wrap. This one has a belly band that's made out of chenille bedspread fringe. I love that. Somebody sent that to me in a recent package. And there's a little baby footprints that serves as the stopper. And this is a tag. It's an alterations tag. And I stitched a piece of vintage advertisement on it. If you know anyone that's about to have a baby, this would be a wonderful gift. There's a piece of chenille up here, a piece of vintage uh, upholstery trim that I'm trying to remember. I think that came from Leslie. She has upholstery trims in her shop. And I love that with this. And this is a piece of vintage sheet. And this is where you record the rest of the months of the baby's weight. And then their one year wait, two year, three, four, and five. We have some eyelet and some blue lace at the top here and a vintage ad. This was about Heinz baby food and it had three images numbered on a baby rattle. The three steps for comparing baby foods. What I want for you and slept through the night. This is a little blue sack that is glued on as a pocket. And there's a little tag inside with some images from a, baby, a vintage magazine. And then this card was tucked behind it. It says first tooth. There's a little tuck spot here. This is a vintage baby card and it's flocked to welcome baby. It's got some marks left from the vintage cellophane tape. And then this is from a vintage magazine about how to take care of baby. You're careful to watch in the creases, wash in the crease, creases and skin folds of his little arms and legs, etc. It's very cute. Mother's notes. Look at those gorgeous images. To the moon and back. There's a pocket with some scraps of vintage gift wrap, and then this is fussy cut from gift, vintage gift wrap. Sweet baby boy, and then this is from an old Sears catalog advertising or selling the diapers, flat diapers and pre-folded diapers. Someone must have sent this to me because these are Sears diapers. I think, yeah, Sears exclusive diapers. I have a Spiegel catalog and a Ward's catalog, but not a Sears catalog. So somebody must have sent that to me. And I thank you because it's great in here. First steps, date and age. There's some silvery eyelash trim there. This says all alone and I'm thinking it means first steps by himself. I don't think you're going to leave the baby all alone And then this one says baby's first Christmas. Here's the Tim Holtz little um, pocket for a sippy cup and some other journaling things. This is a vintage gift tag and it says cherish. Here's the image from the calendar for the boys book. Um, I did the knot down here because I didn't want to do it right up there by his eye. It was bad enough that I had to stitch right down the center of his face. And here is number three. I thought, must be I got them out of order. Yeah, there's number two. Sorry about that, but 
There's a tag that I made with cardstock and glued on some images. I love these vintage images. I hope you do too. This is the same image that was used on the Studio 28E paper. Little babies, more tumbling babies. So cute. This is Melon's Food, a milk product, a milk modifier. Melon's Food Biscuits. So this is glued to cardstock and there's a little stork stamp stuck on there. This is Rockabye Baby. This is another thing I need to back with paper so you can journal on it. This came out of a children's nursery rhyme book. And then here you can cut these apart or use them as, uh, as they are. First cereal, first fruit, and first veggies. Baby's first birthday. Some room for information. Vintage gift wrap paper here. You can glue a photo down here. This is gorgeous, wide, vintage taffeta ribbon. Can you see the, the lines in that taffeta? I love it. And there's some pale green <clears throat> chenille and some eyelet trim. Important events. And here's a little blue checked bag with a tag that I made in there. And vellum bag for hair sample. The first haircut, and this says first giggle. Over here is the tag that says first haircut, so you can put a photo of the baby there. You could put a before and after photo on this. And this says adorable first, said daddy, and said mommy. So you can record the, day, the dates that he first says those words. There's a piece of chenille used as a pocket. Some vintage trim here. And the blue and white beautiful lace from Hobby Lobby. There's a tuck spot there. This is an image from a vintage magazine. It's just beautiful. And then here's the rolls over tag for the boy. Back to front, front to back. First haircut. I know we had that card back here, but this says the date, the age, where I got my first haircut, and then you can put a lock of baby's hair, but we already have an envelope for that. This uh, is an image from a knitting book, and there's a vintage gift wrap image there. Um, baby goes bye-bye, so the baby's first trip. The first wee toothy. This is another knitting book. It says, this is it, the life of Riley. That means the life of ease, if you've never heard that phrase. Baby speaks, so you can write here about first words that baby says. And here is a gorgeous card. It's a gatefold card. And it's just beautiful. You can open it up, maybe, and write inside it if you want to. And I just used one flap and flipped it over there. This is cut with my Cricut a long time ago and I just glued it to this piece of card stock and cut around it, made a little tuck spot. This was also made with my Cricut and you can journal on the back. And first word. Here's another piece of that gorgeous vintage taffeta ribbon. There's a piece of blue gingham stitched to the center of it. And then this is vintage wrapping paper stitched to alterations tag. My hands and feet. So you can put the handprints here and the footprints here. Another piece of chenille with that beautiful vintage grow grain ribbon. Look at the baby, the child saying his prayers. And here is another comparison test for the Heinz baby food. Vintage gift wrap up here. And then on the back is a vintage postcard. If it be true what I have heard about a certain long-legged bird, I merely want to add a word. Congratulations. 
there's some vintage trim on the top of that pocket. And then included in the set are various pieces from the cut apart pages that I used, um, some stickers, and this little embellishment that I made. And this came um, from my Cricut. I cut that out and glued it together from my Cricut. So there's a bunch of stuff that you can use. So this journal will be listed in my shop below. So come on over and check my shop out. I do combine shipping, so if there are other items you wanted to add to this, this will probably, if you're in the U.S., it will go in a flat rate package. So if you added anything that would fit in with the package, it would not add to your postage. I'm just going to trim off some of these threads. And that's it for this book. Um, I hope you like it, and I hope you consider it as a baby gift or for yourself if you need one. Come on over to my shop and um, hit the thumbs up on this video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.